I'd like to introduce this short video clip, which is going to demonstrate the capability of our uh, exciting and powerful new series of products uh, for the Preston brand, the 8248AU and the CP248. Before we begin this demonstration, I'd like to give you a quick view of the hardware that we are going to utilize. In this case here, we are going to be using a laptop instead of a desktop computer. We have an express card interface to the chassis, which is housing the three instruments we are going to be using for the demo. The first slot here is the controller slot, which communicates to the laptop. The second slot is an 8248AU, which has four input connectors, one of which is used for the demonstration and is connected to a signal input. The buffered output of the 8248 is cabled over to the next instrument, which is an 8-channel A to D card. This is going to be used to show the output of the 8248. In the last slot is a CP248, which is a combination of an 8248 and an A to D module. We're going to start this demonstration by showing you the capability of the user interface screen for the 8248AU amplifier. As we start this program, we go out and query the instruments to find out the available devices that are in the chassis. As you can see, the rows represent the individual channels, of which there are four, and across the columns are the individual parameter settings you can change. For this specific channel, we have programmable gains of 1 to 10,000. The input MUX can be selected to have DC coupling, AC coupling, and uh, various calibration settings. Each channel is also independently programmable for filter. Uh, bypass or cutoffs from 20 hertz to 50 kilohertz. The remainder of the columns in this user interface are used to configure the bridge front end signal conditioning. The next portion of the demonstration is going to show the same configurable capabilities but with a couple of different languages. Uh, this user interface is written in Lab Window CVI and contains the same information that's available in all of the other user interface screens. As you can see, we've got the four rows representing the channels and the various uh, columns representing the configurable parameters. The only other thing you'll notice in this screen that you didn't see in prior screens is calibration information uh, related to the instrument. And I'll explain a bit more about that later. We just demonstrated two user interface controls. I'm going to show you a third and a full API is available for LabVIEW as well as Lab Window CVI. With this user interface, we select the instrument we want to communicate with and uh, give it the run. Uh, as you can see, the same columns and rows are available and with the same functionality, including all the gain uh, coefficients for both uh, the hybrid calibrator and the channel offset coefficients. Next, I will demonstrate the capability of the 8248 coupled with an analog to digital converter so that we can actually run some signals into the input of the device and see the resultant digitized data. I'm going to put this into run mode. I have a 100 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak sine wave going into the unit. Um, as you can see across on the left side, I can configure all the various parameters associated with the 8248. I'm going to focus in on the gain for a moment. If I look at the 100 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak input signal and I change the gain, I essentially end up with a 200 millivolt output. If I go to 5, I end up with 500 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak output. Uh, this is great in the effect that it is doing the amplification, but the problem that we're having with this is that I'm not getting a referred to input signal measurement. I'm getting a referred to output measurement because I'm taking an input signal and doing an amplification of it. In order to get the real true value of the input, I really need to do an end-to-end -end calibration. That can be a complicated procedure with two kinds of instruments, especially a signal conditioner, which has its own transfer function, and an A to D converter that has a separate transfer function. The 8248 has an onboard precision calibrator that allows you to inject a signal into each channel, uh, digitize that, and get the transfer function of the entire system. Now we're going to move on to the CP248. This is a lab window CVI example, which is going to demonstrate some of the capability of that unit. The CP248 is essentially an 8248 coupled with an ADC per channel uh, to complete the full package of a system within a single wide unit. 
With this particular program, we're demonstrating the input of a sine wave of 50 millivolts, or I'm sorry, 100 millivolts peak to peak. And now as I adjust these gain ranges, you will notice that the peak to peak voltage reported in the min max does not change. This is due to the system has been through a full calibrated cycle where now I'm always looking at referred to input measurements, no matter which range I select. As with all the other software that's been demonstrated up to this point, the SoftView application is freeware included with any instrument purchase from Preston uh, Amplifier or Kinetic Systems brand. I will highlight the various uh, parameters associated with configuring an application under SoftView. And as we can see for a CP248 module, it has all the configurable parameters that have been shown in any of the other user interfaces. I'll start a quick data collection here, which will allow me to record data to disk and evaluate the results. Start the data acquisition. I have a 10 volt, uh, 5 hertz signal going into the unit and currently sampling at 100 hertz. So as you can see, you get a real-time display of a graphical representation of the data as it's being digitized. I'll start to stop the recording procedure, hit the post-process tab, and now I can get a view of all the collected data. I can as well export this data that can be used to run into any analysis package. For this quick demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and open this up with OpenOffice. Each channel that has been digitized has its own column. Uh, time stamping is on the left and the voltage measurements are in uh, each cell within a column. I can plot a quick graph. and display the data that we've acquired during this process. Thank you for taking the time to view this information related to the isolated products by Preston and Kinetic Systems. For further information, please contact myself, Steve Krebs, at area code 815-838-0005 or at 1-800-DATA-NOW.